Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is a little bit different, but it's one that's requested quite a bit. I do have a series on my channel, if you can see right here, it's a playlist full of, wow, 11 videos at this point. And in each video, I take three or four products and I tell you just how many uses it took me to finish the entire thing. Mostly makeup, but I have incorporated more skincare into this as well. I get a lot of questions from people asking me just how I'm able to organize tracking so many uses of so many products every single day. So that I can better show you and you can see what I see, I'm actually going to show you my Google Drive account. If you have a Gmail email, then you most likely also have a Google Drive account. And it's very useful for me in not only organizing stuff for YouTube, but pretty much everything in my life. So if you can see, I have a wedding folder, YouTube folder, freelance writing, general organization stuff. And if you want to create a Google spreadsheet like the one that I use, all you have to do is go to new and click Google Sheets and a new one will pop up and you can change the title and you can also just put whatever information you want in there. Let me show you what mine looks like. So I have been building it for probably two years now, more than two years. I've been tracking uses for quite a long time. And if you can see, this is just an example. This is a template. These aren't the actual numbers that I have, but if you can see, I have it separated by eyeshadow palettes, foundations and concealers, setting sprays, primers, powders, uh, blushes, lip products, highlighters, bronzers, and then skincare and fragrance. And then I have an SPF section down here and then a miscellaneous section right here. Um, this is like eyebrow products, random tanning products, um, just random products that don't really fit in any other category. And then if you see down here, this is where I keep track of all the products that I've used over 100 times. And that is for my Club 100 playlist where I talk about 15 products that I've used at least 100 times. And then I keep track of what I talked about in past videos so that I don't accidentally talk about one product more than once. And if you can see these little numbers in parentheses next to these palettes, these are the number of pans that I've hit in that palette. So in the Stila Soul palette, I have six pans. In the Modern Renaissance, I have seven, etc. And some of these newer ones at the bottom are palettes that I haven't had for very long, and so they don't have any pans in them yet. This is going to sound embarrassingly simple, but the truth is every morning after I've done my makeup, I go into this spreadsheet, into this file, and I just add one more number. I increase the number next to each product that I've used. So I think, okay, I used the e.l.f. Modern Metals palette today, so I can put two there. And that just changes it, and that's that. <laughs> I used the Jouer foundation, so that's two. I used the Crave SPF today, so that goes up to two as well. And I just keep doing that for each one. Very recently, and very luckily for me, you can now track the edit history for your cells. So maybe you went and changed one of the numbers, and then you're like, oh, I don't remember if I typed in the wrong number, I don't remember if that number was correct, you can go in to the cell, right click or double click or whatever, and go to show edit history. And you can click on that and you can actually use the arrow buttons to go through um, each time that you've changed it. And that makes it a lot easier to track. It makes it a lot more accurate. So everything here, as you can see, is separated into separate categories. And that way it's very easy for me to go through and think, okay, so out of all the lip products here, which one did I use today? Out of all the blushes, which one did I use? Another thing that's really useful is you can go through and sort the range and see which blush for example, you've used the most and which ones you've used the least. So let's say the Hard Candy Living Doll I've used nine times, the PYT Excel blush I've used six times, the Essence Satin Touch I've used 90 times. I can go through and select these two rows, uh, double click or right click again, go to sort range, and it's column J, and I'm going to do A to Z. And it will put all of my most used here at the bottom. And that way I can more clearly see which ones I don't use enough, which ones I'm neglecting, and which ones I've been using a lot lately. So it's very useful for me. I'm going to undo that really quickly. I thought as a little bonus I would also discuss how I use this for my Panless Eyeshadows projects. Um, how I keep track of everything in that. That's a very popular series that I do. And I know a lot of people want to do their own versions. This is how I do it. It's very easy. Um, so I just have a Panless Eyeshadows tab. Uh, in this little section here that I'm highlighting, these are all of the shadows that I own. And I have whether or not it's a single or in a palette, what the brand name is, and then the name of the shade. And then if I have Hit Pan on it, I put a little X next to this uh, just to better keep track of what I have Pan on. And if I randomly select it in the project, I will highlight the name of the shade yellow. And that way I can very easily track all the ones that I have already chosen. And then if you can see here, each little box represents a month. 
in the January box, these are the five shadows that I randomly selected. Then if we scroll over here, I have my pan percentage breakdown. So I started at the beginning of the year at 6.1%. If you can see over here in the corner, I had eight pans out of 132 shadows. And as you go down to the bottom, as of 10, 16, 19, um, as of today, because it hasn't changed at all, I have 36 pans out of 205 shadows. So that is just like how my pan percentage has grown over time. And every time I hit pan on a new shadow or I buy a new palette or a declutter it palette, uh, my number of eyeshadows changes. And so I just create a new one. I just drag this down. I change the date and then I change this fraction here to reflect what it looks like now. And that is my updated pan percentage. Over here, I have the actual names of the shades that I have hit pan on. You can see these are the ones that I randomly chose. And then if you can see over here, these are my bonus pans. These are eyeshadows that I did hit pan on, but they weren't randomly chosen. They were just extra pans that I hit. So I have them in a separate category. And then every time I do my video, I follow this um, order. And that way it kind of has the same format every month. I'm not forgetting any information. And it just makes it a lot easier for me to kind of go through the same thing every single month. And lastly, I wanted to show you how I organize my how long does it take to use up uh, videos. So right here, if you can see under ready, these are products that I have been tracking that I have finished. It's a little spoiler alert. What I do to keep track is I will right click or double click and I'll insert a comment and I'll say, oh, this took, you know, I don't know, 800 uses to finish. It didn't, but I'm just going to put that in there and then comment. And then that way, every time I put my cursor over that it'll tell me how many uses it took and I'll do that for each of those. These are products that are very very close to being finished. Um, I'm tracking them. I know how many uses it's taking. I'm just not there yet and then once I finish it, once I finish the Too Faced Hangover Spray, I'll move it over here. Once I have three or four different products in that category then I know I'm ready to film another video. And over here, I keep tabs on everything I've hit pan on. Every quarter, every three or four months, I like to do an update video where I show you all the new pans that I've hit in my collection. Uh, these ones in purple are ones that I haven't hit pan on yet, but I'm very close. And then once I do, I put them on this list. And then these purple sections are the charts that I have. Um, they better help me keep everything organized for my how long does it take to use up makeup videos. So we'll use the Bare Minerals Color Collector as a example. Let's say full price is $22 and it's one ounce. And then I'll type in a formula. You can, you'll see the formula pop up right in this line up here. So I'll click equals and then I'll click on that cell $22 and I will divide it by one. And that means it's $22 per, per ounce. And then if you get on sale, I think you can get on the Ulta and Sephora website. So I would do another formula. I would click equals 22 multiplied by 0.8, which is 80% meaning you get 20% off. And then I will do another formula where I take that total, 1760, and I divide that by one ounce to see how much it costs per ounce when it's on sale. And then let's say it took me 800 uses to finish. It didn't. That's a made up number. <laughs> I'll give you the actual number in my next video, but I will make another formula. I'll click equals $22 divided by 18, 800 uses, and that is three cents per use. I will do the same formula, but with the sale price. So equals 1760 divided by 800 brings it down to two cents. And that's how I go through and that's how I calculate cost per use, etc. Usually I have all the formulas already in there. And then when I put in the number, the uses, which is usually the last piece of information that I have, it'll fill in all the other cells for me. And that is it. I hope this gave you some perspective. It does take a little bit of time to type everything out and get everything set up in categories and put it in a type of format that works for you. That's, you know, aesthetically pleasing, but also easy to keep organized. Um, everybody's a little bit different. I use spreadsheets a ton just to keep my life organized in general. I use them at work. I use them, um, you know, regarding a lot of things. Um, and YouTube is no different for me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you and a little bit fun to kind of get a peek into how I organize everything. I hope everyone watching has a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.